Welcome back to H20 Special Relativity. In this section, and also the next one, we want to make a case against ether. Ether was presumed to be the medium in which light traveled. Uh, we do this, we make this case by studying the Michelson Morley experiment. Michelson and Morley went out to detect the motion of Earth relative to ether. And by not finding a result, we can conclude that at least in this form, ether doesn't exist. All right, so what is the experimental setup? Um, also, it's shown on the pictures above. Um, we have a light source here um, from which the light traveled to some mirror, which reflects about half the light. So half the light goes through, reflected on the second mirror, and then comes to a screen. The other part of the light is up and back down. So the light either travels against the ether wind or perpendicular to the ether wind. If ether is the medium in which light travels, then the velocity needs to change. The velocity of light in this ether in this medium will change. If there's no ether wind, there's no change in the velocity of the light. The result of the experiment is an interference pattern on the screen. So the experiment is called an interference. Um, so there's some uh, systematic uh, uncertainties here. There's some uh, unknowns, for example, uh, if you're building your table, it's not really clear in which direction ether actually, which direction is actually the direction of the ether flow. But you can get by this by rotating the table and making various sets of experiments. And that's what Michelson and Morley did. I want you to show that the effect they're about to observe, or they will not observe, is of the order of v over c square. And you have what you want to do is compare the light, um, the light as it travels on this path number one to one mirror and on the second path to the second mirror. So if you're following the video, I ask you to just stop here and figure out how long does it take for the lights to travel on, on this path here, on the lower path path number one or path number two. So obviously I've worked this out already. So we wanna calculate the time it takes light to travel past one. And that is you know, going up and coming down, uh, going left and going right. So in the first case, the velocity is reduced by the velocity of ESA. So the time it takes is L1 select divided by C minus V plus the return lag, L1 over C plus V. And then you work this out and you simplify a little bit, you get this first equation. For the second pass, the one up and down, um, you want to draw this, this triangle here to figure out that T is equal, to, the time it takes is equal to the square root L square over C square minus V square. And then you simplify again, you get this uh, form with the uh, square root again. What's important is the time difference for the light traveling with two legs. And you find that the time difference T1 or T2 minus T1 is given by this little bit complicated looking equation. So now in the experiment, you want to set up L1 equal to L2 to simplify, but you might not be able to do it very precisely. What you can do, however, is rotate the table. If you rotate and then compare the difference of the differences, you find that here, there is this <clears throat> v square over c square dependence. I used a little trick to uh, simplify the square root as I use um, this one plus or minus x to the nth power is about one plus minus n times x for x very small. And since the velocity of ether is presumed to be small compared to the speed of light, that's a good approximation. The result of the experiment was there was no effect. They tried, they improved the experiment, they tried to find smaller effects, they didn't find any. The reason for this is that there's no ether. So we can use this now to make an, a case against the ether. But you could say that maybe they didn't observe anything because the ether is dragged with the Earth. So instead of you know, the Earth going through this ether and therefore the experience of an ether wind, uh, you could 
argue that maybe ESA is localized around Earth, moving with the Earth, or maybe we are living in the Earth. And so in the next video, we'll look at a case against that scenario as well.